Hello everybody, this is Dave. Welcome to Dave's Fit Life. This would be day four, episode three. All right, folks. Um, once again, welcome to Dave's Fit Life. Welcome back to episode three, day four. Um, I was just show you uh, the label on this box that I have in front of me from Lofta. Lofta is based in San Diego. I did a lot of shopping uh, for this item that I'm about to unbox. It's a mini CPAP. I put a lot of time and energy into researching mini CPAPs for Dave's Fit Life. I have a regular size CPAP in my bedroom, and that is uh, uh, you know the home base unit. I can't be switching that back and forth from the house to the car, from the house to the car. It's too much work. It's too cumbersome. Uh, I've also traveled with it, and it's a big pain to travel with it. So the mini CPAP is one of the newest developments in the whole CPAP world, and they've made a lot of improvements. Uh, one of the biggest improvements they've made is the battery charger. There's a charger in this box. You plug it into your cigarette lighter, which when I work at night driving a truck, I'll plug it to the, into the cigarette lighter. I'll charge the battery. Supposedly, it holds six to eight hours of charge, which is the perfect, appropriate amount of sleep that I'll be shooting for. Eight is a bit much. I'm hoping for seven. I'll settle for six right now. Right now, I'm doing somewhere between four and five hours of sleep, and I wouldn't say it's the best sleep in the world. All right. So anyway, I must have a CPAP, a mini CPAP or a CPAP every night when I sleep. It is incredibly crucial to my health. Without a mini CPAP or a CPAP, I will wake up and I will feel terrible. I will sleep poorly and I wake up, I will be depressed and it, it can get really bad. It can get really, really bad. I've documented that in a previous episode of Dumbing It Down with Dave, my audio podcast, where I explained something uh, about a defect that was occurring in my regular CPAP. There was a hole in the tube and I wasn't getting a good night's sleep. And I got pretty depressed. It got really dark <laughs> after a couple of days. It got worse and worse. And I had no idea what was happening until I realized I had a hole in the tube. All right, let's unbox. You want to unbox with me? I've never done an unboxing before. I've already cut the box open uh, because it's too hard to handle the knife and hold this phone because I can't. There's no button to hit the iPhone to get the screen to, to turn around. All right, so here we go. Let's turn this around without shutting it off. Wow, all right, two minutes and 18 seconds in. I love the fact when I can see the screen so I know how, how, how long we've been going. All right, here we go. First thing in the box, let's take it out. Oops, I'm gonna get my fingers out of the way. This is the battery. This is very crucial. It's, uh, there's a feather on the box, I guess, to make it look like it's light as a feather, but this box is really heavy. I'm not sure what the feather has to do with anything, but that's the battery, all right? That will be very crucial. This is the mask. That's also pretty crucial, all right? That's the mask. All right, what's this stuff? Oh, that's the poppy stuff. That's also very crucial. I wish there was more of this. I wish this whole box was just the poppy stuff. That would be really great. All right, what else we got here? All right, this looks like this looks like the bill. I'm going to have to pay that. No, that's probably just some sort of uh, welcoming letter or something like that. Um, what else we got here? Let's do this first. All right, there's the tubing. Is it upside down? There's the tubing. And these things here, these are moisture packets. I will explain that in a future episode but that keeps the moisture in the tube. I don't have to have a water reservoir, which I'll explain at another time what that means. And uh, what else we have here? Here is the actual, let's get rid of this empty box. All right, there's proof there's something in there. All right, I don't know why I needed to have proof. This is it, that's the ResMed from Lofta. And let's see if we can open this box. All right, see, I got one hand. All right, there we go, that was good, that was smooth. All right, there's the information book, all right. I'll be using that. This is uh, the chargers, right? These are the cords. I'll be using that. Yeah, that looks like, I like when they have a picture of, a, of you know, what exactly what it looks like. This is probably a strap and a case to carry it. Yep. And there's the empty box. I'll be using this for pens and pencils, maybe. All right. Here it is. That's it. That's the baby. Bum, 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 bum. That's it. That's the res. Is it upside down? There you go. ResMed. That's it. You hit that button, he turns it on, and uh, I'll be showing this. You'll be seeing a lot more of this. This is an incredibly crucial part of Day's Fit Life is this mini CPAP. It looks like a ResMed. I got it from a company called Loft in San Diego. They were very nice people. They shipped it to me. I got it in two days. I put a lot of research into this. There's other companies that make this mini CPAP, but this one seems to have the best of everything. Also, that charger was very crucial. I need to plug in that because I'll be uh, in the fit. So I won't have an outlet to plug into. So I can charge the battery, right? That, where's the battery? I can charge this. That helps me use this. And I need both of those to work. Let me turn the phone around without shutting it off. 
so I can take care of this, right? Remember, this whole experiment is replacing two hours of commuting, commuting and turning it into two hours of exercise. That's, that's the number one goal. Two hours of commuting, turning it into two hours of exercise. And I'm hoping that I can get incredibly healthier just from that little change alone. And the CPAP, the mini CPAP will help me not come home, get rid of that commute, stay in the fit, get more exercise, and turn this whole body around. That's the goal, all right? As you can see, a little chunky right now, all right? Let's hope in the months to come, the weeks, days, weeks, and months to come, that you'll see a lot less of me. You'll see more of me, but I hope you'll see a lot less of me. All right, folks, that's it. Thank you for subscribing, everybody. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for clicking on that little button that gives you notifications that I've done a show. Thank you for engaging. Please engage even more. Thank you for sharing it all over social media. Where You know how it is. Twitter, Facebook, you know, Instagram. Please, I, I implore you, I beg of you uh, to share this everywhere and anywhere with your friends, your lovers, and your enemies. Let everybody know about Dave's Fit Life. Uh, we'll be, we're going to be saving a life somewhere. We're going to be helping people. I know that for a fact. People go, oh, I didn't know you could do that. And the option of not coming home and sleeping in your vehicle believe it or not, it's something that's kind of growing in this country. There are many, many people who are doing what I'm doing. I'm not the first person to do this. I might be the first and largest person to do it in a Honda Fit. That might be something I can, I can hold on to. We, I don't know. We'll find out. Everything will unravel, folks. The, all the mysteries of how I'm going to control the heat, how I'm going to control the cold, how I'm going to eat and go to the bathroom and work out, all of it will, all the questions will be answered. Thank you very much once again for watching Dave's Fit Life. Once again, Dave Canyon. This is episode, what I say? This is day four, episode three. And uh, the next one, I think, will be me actually sleeping in the fit. We'll be sleeping in the fit next week. First day at work, first, first night at work, first day at work, I'll be in the fit. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.